Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Today's discussion is on waking up and why it is essential for you to create your reality the way that you want it, to live the life of your dreams. And I want to begin this discussion by talking about the opposite. So most people, 99% of people are living their life from that sleepy state where you are just being pulled along by life. And in terms of reality transurfing, the script is just happening to you. When you're in the sleepy state, you lose all control of what's going on. And like I just said, life happens to you. When something happens in your life, you get sucked in to the drama to whatever is going on, whether it is outside of you, whatever is going on in the environment around you that is outer attention or inner intention, whatever is happening in your head. This is the thoughts and inner dialogue that is constantly going on in your head. And that's why so many people who talk about spirituality, recommend meditation as a starting point because meditation, when you are observing what is going on in your mind, allows you to take a step back and to separate yourself from those thoughts. And that's why meditation is very important for spiritual development. But in terms of waking up, when you wake up, you draw your attention to what is going on in your mind, what is going on around you, but you don't get tangled up in it. It doesn't become you. And this is what's called the attention center. So the first step in reality creation, no matter what modality that you are working with, is finding that attention center. I like to think of it in the back of my head It's like this outside perspective. So if I'm having thoughts about what am I going to have for dinner or I hated what that person said to me or I'm just a loser or I am so sick and tired of how so-and-so is treating me or it was so nice what the neighbor brought over to me. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad or what it is. Stepping away and identifying that inner voice, that inner conversation, that inner dialogue, or if you're caught up in the outer attention, so taking a look outside and having thoughts about my lawn is really crappy and dead, how am I going to fix it, or I need to cut down that tree, or I think someone just stole garbage out of my garbage can, or that dog just peed on my you know, favorite plant whatever it is, you find that place where you separate. And this is what Eckhart Tolle teaches as well. And most spiritual teachers talk about this concept of the neutral observer. So when you find that place, you detach from those thoughts And you gain so much control because you realize that you are not those thoughts and maybe you're having those thoughts, but they don't control you. So from this point, you then identify what it is you want. So you can do short-term and long-term. And this was really life-changing for me when I realized I had control over creating what I want right now, but also creating that long-term one-year, two-year, five-year, 10-year plan as well. When you start practicing this, it's really fun and beneficial to practice short-term. So what do I want next? What is my intention for my life right now? So let's say right now I need to run to the store and grab some food for dinner. I might draw my attention in to that attention center 
where I can say, what is going on around me? What is going on in my head? Where am I? And take inventory of everything that's going on. I'm very awake. I'm very aware. I'm in my body identifying what that is. And then I say, I'm going to be going to the store. I want to have the perfect parking spot. When I go in there, I'm going to know exactly what to buy and it's going to be fresh and look great and there's not going to be a line. And I'll create that scene in my mind. Visualize it quickly. Going to the grocery store today was so easy and fun. Have my scene and then I go and do it. And every single time that whatever I create occurs how I intended it, you're going to reaffirm that. Wow, my intentions really work. And the more and more you practice, the more and more you reinforce it, you will start seeing it happen that way every single time. And it will amaze you to see how this really plays out. And it also helps you in waking up because you'll know that when you wake up, when you create and take control of it, things work out so much better. So my challenge for you today is to wake up, pull yourself out of that matrix, create what you want, and let me know in the comments how it's working out for you. I love to hear success stories. You can email them to me at elizabeth at myspiritualbeginnings.com. And I would love to have you join me on my Wednesday workshop. If you aren't already a part of that, I'll post the link for you where we get together every single Wednesday to work on intuition development, manifestation, and all things spiritual. So I hope to see you there. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll catch you next time.